Hello, and welcome to the next in the Infor Cloud Suite Distribution Day in the Life demo series. Today's presentation, we're going to be walking through the Cloud Suite Distribution solution from the point of view of a purchasing agent. Leading us through today's presentation will be Mike, a purchasing agent at Progressive Supply. Progressive is a wholesale distributor that carries many product lines across multiple lo locations in North America. Today's agenda, Mike will take you on a tour of the Cloud Suite distribution solution from the point of view of a purchasing agent. This will include real-time visibility to rush ship requirements, late purchase orders, and surplus inventory availability across the organization. As Mike arrives to the office this morning, the first thing he's presented with as he logs into Cloud Suite Distribution is his role-based home page. From this home page, Mike can view and take action on any number of pieces of information that are critical to him having a successful day. The first thing Mike likes to review are some of the real-time analytics that are presented to him in his home page. He's always concerned with maintaining uh, fill rate accuracy at his different locations and often is interested in what the sales volume is based on the different vendors that he supports. He knows that he can always drill down and get more detail through the analytics dashboards, but this morning he's got more pressing issues to address first. The next thing he might take a look at is some real-time report information presented to him in his home page. Specifically, uh, are there any late POs that need to be expedited or followed up on? And maybe what are those high dollar inventory items that are sitting out there on the warehouse floor? Next, Mike notices that his user icon is a uh, bright orange there in the upper right hand side. This is an indication that there's some additional things he needs to take a look at. He always likes to jump over and take a look at any posts that may have been added or updated since he last checked. In this case, he sees that Ray Tolentino is asking him to take a look uh, at this particular transaction. He also notices that somebody else is asking him to follow up on a PO with general packaging. Well, he knows what's going on there. He lets the user know that the ASN was received from the vendor yesterday and that the, their materials should be arriving tomorrow. As he jumps back into the home page, there's a few other things he wants to look at before he dives into his day. Right away he notices he's got some different uh, alerts or activities that have been assigned to them, whether they're large purchase orders that need approval, rush ship requirements in this case that need to be followed up on, or maybe non-stock sales line items that need to be reviewed. The first thing he's going to do is take a look at this large PO approval. So we can open up the details in that transaction. Okay, this was for Colorado Springs Supply. It was that $10,000 purchase order. He remembers talking to the buyer about this one. He's going to go ahead and grab that activity and not only grab it, but go ahead and approve that PO so it can be processed through. The next thing he might take a look at is to come over and look at these rush ship requirements. In this case, these are indicating that there's a customer sales order out there with a material requirement that's a rush ship requirement, but we don't have that inventory available or sufficient inventory available to satisfy from our current stock. Again, Mike can drill into those activities, can review the details, uh, but in this case, he's got the opportunity to drill even further and take a look at that actual sales order. As he dives into the sales order, he can see who's the customer. He can look at who entered the order, uh, maybe even who the sales reps are on this particular transaction. Mike also likes to look at the totals tab here to determine, well, what are the required or promised dates that we've talked to the customer about? Quickly, he can see he's got to take action. So he's going to, again, jump back into that home page and flag, uh, and flag that rush ship requirement as being followed up upon. From here, Mike's going to jump right into his purchase order demand center. As he comes in, he indicates himself as the buyer, uh, that he in, in today or at this moment only wants to look at his main warehouse, Warehouse 1, and he goes out and lets the dashboard return all those recommended requirements that the system has generated. He can hide that search panel on the left and now focus on all of these recommended purchase orders. He remembers that rush requirement, so the first thing he wants to do is just filter these results so he's only reviewing those rush requirements. And there it is, there's that Baldor Corp Corporation rush requirement. Uh, we can see there's one rush line item, it's recommending a PO of around $15,000. From here, 
Mike can drill down into that recommended purchase order. He can see the detail, the vendor, the ship from, the ship to, but he can hide that information, doesn't necessarily need to leave that on the screen. Now quickly he can see there's two line items that the system's recommending. These are the products themselves. There's the recommended quantity. There's his rush ship line item right there, easily visible. What he also knows is he's showing surplus inventory for that product across other locations within his organization. Here, Mike can click and drill into that particular product. And again, before we go buying more of this particular product from the vendor, let's check and see what that surplus inventory is all about. Remember, we needed a quantity of 15 of these for, to satisfy our customer's need. If we come down below, we can see that there are 9, 4, and 15 each in warehouses 2, 3, and 6, respectively. Well, warehouse 6 makes sense. They've got just enough surplus quantity to satisfy my customer's need. So rather than uh, purchasing more of this product, let's leverage and take advantage of that surplus inventory across those other locations, specifically in this example from warehouse 6. So now we're satisfying that first line item from Warehouse 6. I may want to drill into the second line item to review this quantity. I may want to take a look at the historical usage. In this case, I'm satisfied with the recommended quantity, and I'm going to go ahead and generate this purchase order. As I come out of the detail, I can now select that PO. I can make a decision to set the merge flag to on, meaning it's ready to go ahead and process. And once I'm ready, I can go ahead and process and convert that recommended replenishment requirement or recommended purchase order now into the final PO and send that purchase order off to the vendor, whether it be print, fax, email, EDI, depending upon the vendor's preference. In today's Cloud Suite distribution presentation of the purchasing module, we can see how clear, detailed, and easily accessible information contributes to the decisions impacting the entire company. The functionality available in CloudSuite distribution helps those in inventory management make decisions with confidence. Tools like real-time exception-based notifications, easily accessible details, and visibility across the organization. It's these tools that help in making sure we have the right product in the right location at the right time to most effectively serve the customer. Thank you for your time today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next and the Day in the Life series for CloudSuite Distribution.